Hey YouTube, I have a story I want to bring to you guys. It's not really um, something that I do, but I thought it was hilarious. And sometimes we all need to laugh every now and then. Anyway, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the movie back in the 90s, I want to say, um, called Weekends at Bernie's. Um, I really can't remember um, any of the details because it's been many, many years. But I do remember these guys um, going around with this dead man. The story that I, I have today is similar to that. Um, the guy on the left is the nephew. He's 40 years old. The guy on the right in the suit is the uncle. He's 66. Um, they're from Ireland, not in this country. Um, apparently, the nephew decides to call his friend to come and help him get the uncle dressed and take the uncle to the post office so they could try to scheme up getting the uncle's check, his monthly pension. So they get him dressed and everything, as you can see here on the picture. They drag him down the street, drag him up the stairs to the post office, and then get him inside the post office and prop him up like he alive. So they go get this check. Now, unbeknownst to them, there was a co-worker who actually worked in the post office who had saw them down the street dragging the uncle, and she saw them as they drug him up the stairs. She said his feet was not moving. They didn't touch the ground. It was like the two guys was basically, you know, lifting him up, carrying him up the stairs. So she goes in the post office and she tells the lady behind the counter, um, something's wrong. This man is not well. Um, they was dragging him in here. So she called the police. When the police get there, the two guys want to act like they didn't know the uncle was dead and blah, blah, blah. They had to know this uncle was dead. Because for one, why couldn't the uncle have went and got his own check? Why did he need, you know, why did they have to drag him I'm pretty sure before you know this incident pops was walking down there getting his own check so now all of a sudden y'all dragging him down here want to act like y'all don't know he alive they knew he was a, he wasn't alive they knew that so then he wants to tell the, the the police oh he was alive when he walked down here with us he was alive maybe he caught a heart attack when we when we got to the uh post office no I don't believe that because why you and your uncle couldn't have just walked down there. You knew something was wrong with your uncle. That's why you called your friend. And you're going to try to take this man money. That's the last check and any, he going to get. The last check any of y'all going to get from him. He gone. So they took him to jail. They ended up letting him out because they say the uncle died from natural causes. But they're going to dig into the uh, the situation and see exactly what happened and why was these two dragging the uncle down the, up, you know, the street to the post office. So he might get some time for this. I'm not saying, you know, that they should give him time or they shouldn't, but you got to admit there's some crazy stuff. The world is not what we known before. The world is changing. It has changed and changed. Every day it's changing chaos everywhere and people doing some of the craziest things what is wrong with these people gonna walk this dead man to the post office just to get this man money what hearts are waxing colder and colder and a lot of them waxing cold because of this right here money if they ain't got it they want yours hearts are waxing colder and colder and colder and we seeing it every single day Y'all let me know what y'all think about him dragging his uncle's corpse to the post office. Should he go to jail or should they just let him be? He didn't, he didn't get the check anyway, so I say let him go. 